Finally got a SIM card six days later. I'm the tour started. 23,000, which is like the equivalent of 10 Canadian dollars pretty much for two gigabytes, so not bad. All right, well, now we're gonna catch up to a very, very frustrated group of friends that have been waiting for us for about half an hour. <laughs> and then we're gonna hop on our transport and make our way up the beautiful, beautiful coastline to a town called Buritaka, where we're gonna be staying in El Viajero Hostel. It used to be a luxury hotel, and now it's one of the coolest backpacker hostels you can find on the coastline. All right. All right. All right. All right. So we just arrived at our new destination. Was it El... Viajero. El Viajero. El Viajero. El Viajero. What is it famous for? Um, the beach and the pool and the bar. The beach and the pool and the bar. I'm so excited. And the... Yeah. And the yes. This place looks decent. Jose. Rose. Yeah. Nice. Can't forget the drone. German shepherd. Stay away from the shepherds. <laughs> Ten years ago, I got taken down by one running on the beach. <laughs> my ass. Partnering crime. Partnering crime. <laughs> <laughs> he says I could be your bartender, and I say no, but you could be my partner in crime. <laughs> got a wristband. Checking into the room. This place is fucking dope. All spread. What are you saying back there, Tyler? Nothing. <laughs> Oh yeah, Jonathan's nice enough to drop uh, <laughs> the top or bottom bar. There we go. <laughs> Alright, we're back at the hotel. Elliot's ready to fire it up. I just have a freaking drink. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go.
stuck back home, I think. Don't really know what's gonna happen. Just hopefully we don't get stuck in Mexico, but there's a good chance that that might happen. But I'll keep vlogging. Good to look back on, just hopefully I, hopefully everyone's safe. Day eight, checking out, going to Cartagena. We'll be there for one night and then we'll be off to a little paradise island. But from what I've heard from someone else that was just in Cartagena that they're limiting the bars to 50 people. So let's see if that's true or not. Okay, so we're at our first stop, we have a a uh, seven hour bus ride to Cartagena. We were supposed to spend a night there and then we were gonna go to an island tomorrow but then now we've just found out that that island's been closed due to the coronavirus. The town's supposed to be super lively and, and a fun town but I don't know if it's actually gonna be like that this time around. So yeah, at this moment this coronavirus is starting to screw up all the plans. Corona update. <laughs> Shit's getting cancelled, left, right, and center. Yeah, pull the plug on the old Columbia trip here, figure out where we're gonna go next. So we're on the fence of either Mexico, Canada, or Thailand. Joe wants to go Mexico. Where yeah. does everything in Mexico shut down now, so if we do make it, we might be stuck there. It'd be worse places to get stuck, honestly, but... We don't know if we're gonna be stuck for two weeks or if we're gonna be stuck for fucking three months. <laughs> Could be worse people to be stuck with. I feel like we'll have a good time. Me, Dan, Joe, Elliot, take it on. Let's go, baby. No, we got, we got Victor over there. <laughs> so it's looking like wherever we fly next, this is where, it. wherever we fly next, next is, is our base, pretty much. Like in California? I forgot to say, check out this uh, Coca Cola Energy. First time ever seeing that. Also, these are banging limo. We've got the gas station ribs. Never go wrong with some gas station ribs too. Yes. It's a hard decision. Get a hot dog. Just found the roast beef sandwich. No sandwich, uh, roast beef. Uh, but it's not actually, I feel like I'm back in town. <laughs> Turn of events here. <laughs> Thing. We got a farmer here dealing yeah. with the problems. We got her diagnosed, uh, hop up the coolant next time we go up and go. Uh, What's the problem here? Uh, the brand. Need a, <laughs> need a Chevrolet. New bus, new life. <laughs> on with them but then with the Canadian borders closing and all this quarantining going on all around the world I don't know what's gonna happen to Mexico 
be risky. But yeah, I don't know. If, if it was two weeks or three weeks, it would have been fine. But if I go to Mexico and it shuts down for a month or two months, then that's where it's going to get expensive. So trip's been unreal. Uh, we didn't get to finish it off. We didn't get to go to the island today. We made it to Cartagena, but yeah, we didn't get to see the, the real side of it. But we'll definitely be back. And here's a video of what, what we've done so far. Recovering from last night, but I'm doing better and better. <laughs> nice, that's good. We got a farmer here dealing yeah. with the problems. Uh -huh. We got her diagnosed. It's another day on the farm. <laughs> the beach and the pool and the bar. What do you think about it? 8 p.m. here? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs>